Hello my friends, the ESP32 S3 and its older brother S2 supports HID protocol, which means we can use them to create a simple keyboard, mouse or similar device to control a computer. But did you know it also works the other way around? You can actually connect standard keyboard to ESP32 device. So if your project requires many push buttons, many inputs, this approach could be a good option. You won't need to waste free GPIO spins since the keyboard will connect directly to USB port. I wanted to try this concept and I made this retro text editor. For this project I used the largest board I have, a 7 inch MI touch board made by MakerFabs. The display is driven by ESP32 S3 MCU and its resolution is 1024 by 600. There are two versions of this board available, including one with lower resolution. This board is perfect choice because of its large screen and because it has built-in SD card reader. So my text files will be stored on the SD card. Having two USB ports is also great because while one is used for keyboard, I can use another one for programming. I showed you this board almost a year ago, it is impressive that the ESP32 can handle such a large display, but it does require some creativity. In my last example, I updated four different regions of the screen using a single sprite. You can find this video in description. The board has additional PS RAM, but it is still impossible to have a full screen 16-bit sprite with such large display. And for this project, I wanted a retro look, so instead of 16 bits color depth, I used 4 bit color depth, which leaves plenty of RAM available. Yes, with 4 bit sprite, you have only 16 available colors, but for this retro look, I only need a few. If you liked this video so far, please subscribe. I will wait. Thank you. Also, feel free to check other videos on my channel. I have many cool projects and I always share my code and examples with others. If you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee. I love coffee. You can support me on Patreon or become my YouTube member. If you want to hire me for custom work, feel free to contact me. And here it is, my text editor. Here I can set my file name volosvido.txt uh, with f3 I can change to to edit my text I have caps lock and with F4 I can save my file. Name is Volosvido, F4, file is saved. With F5 I can change brightness of screen and with, with F2 I can open files that are stored on SD card. So all files are on this SD card. This is the last file we saved this here. And with F1 I can open new file. And that's practically it, very simple. It can be improved in many ways, but I just wanted to to see, can I make this? Now let's check the code. And here is code for display. We are using a Lovian GFX library. Uh, I forgot to mention, but I'm, I also added that 8-bit RGB lights so I'm using NeoPixel bus library for for it. This is library used for SD card header file with 
definitions for this board with pin definitions and other important information and this is a library which will be in charge for connected connecting keyboard or mouse to your ESP32 board when you install this library you can find a few simple and shorter examples because this this mine example is let's say complicated not complicated it is hard to read maybe as you can see in a loop function we ha have only one one function which will monitor keyboard or mouse events on U our USB port as I mentioned I'm using few sprites but as you can see sprite depth of this sprite is 4 bits so I can show only 16 colors here or in this case this sprite is used just to show name of uh, file which is edited so color depth is 1 bit which means for one byte can store 8 pixels in this case one byte can store 2 pixels in this case colors can be only black or white and yes this is function or class which will listen to keyboard keyboard events and when specific key is pressed something it will uh, something will happen i will share this code so maybe it will be useful i think i think it it will be useful you can use parts of my code for some your project some terminals or something keyboards have a standard usb or old usb uh, connector and uh, most new development boards have a usb c connector so i created this adapter i basically cut old cable and connected to this adapter i find on aliexpress that's it i hope you like my uh, my text editor i hope you like this video and i hope you enjoy this this video yes and i hope we have few new subscribers i will not talk anymore because it is too late and i'm talking nonsense goodbye have a nice day and thank you bye